welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different, but it's something that needs to be said. So I'd like you to stick around to the end so you can understand where our channel is and what our channel is becoming and, well, our stance on things. First, I want to lose the gimmick because, oh, I'm a 50-year-old man and I don't think walking around with sunglasses and a hat is pretty cool anymore. I do want to address something, and I'm going to start this video off with the greatest line in a movie ever, and it's a 1995 movie called The Usual Suspects. And in that movie, the quote goes something like this, which is, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he didn't exist. Now, I want you to remember that quote, because that's going to be important towards the end of this video. For those of you who've been around for a while, you know that, well, our channel is kind of just a hobby for us. We make videos basically showing what RV life is like and we share them with our kids and it's kind of a way of us just to go, hey kids, mom and dad are on YouTube and uh, we goof on them with it. A lot of inside jokes in our videos, a lot of things that, you know, we just do just for whatever. And part of that has been organic growth for us is very important. Now there's services you can pay that will get you a ton of subscribers. There's collaborations you can do with big channels that will get you a bunch of subscribers. But for us, it was a matter of, we wanted people that wanted to be around because, well, they liked our personality. Both Carrie and I are, well, we're introverts. We don't really hang out with a lot of people and we prefer it that way. But apparently along the way, people have decided that our channel has been interesting for them and they've joined. Back in November of 2022, Carrie and I sold everything that we owned and we went full time. And at that time, when we signed for our RV behind us, uh, we had about a thousand subscribers, maybe a thousand twenty-five, just barely over that threshold. And we were cool with that. We made videos, we changed our channel name from 25 Plus Life to Life Redesigned. Uh, we came up with a fancy logo. We said, you know what, we're going to give this YouTube a little bit of a run. We're going to up our audio. We're going to try to make the best content that we can make just from an average Joe standpoint. We're not going to do fancy productions. We're going to try to limit our edits. We want to do one take videos and see where it goes. Well, somewhere along the lines, people started responding. One of the questions that we kept getting all the time was about internet, because again, this is YouTube is a hobby for us. I work full time and I have an internet based job, which means I need to be connected all the time to my works VPN. That's what funds all this, not sponsor revenue, not YouTube ad revenue for sure. It's my job funds our travels. So along the lines of that came internet and people started reaching out and going, hey, Nomad internet is being heavily promoted everywhere. And uh, we want to know what the truth is here. Is this something that we can use as a one-stop solution like every channel is telling me that we can do? We looked into it within three mouse clicks. We said, stay away from this company. It is bad news. It's just rebranded Verizon service. And for us, Verizon was not a viable option for a good majority of where we went on the East Coast at the time. We highly recommended other avenues as well as Starlink. That was it. Well, come April, we started our Thousand Trails journey and we were in TTO, Orlando for those of you not in the know, um, and a whole bunch of things went down immediately about Nomad Internet. I sat on the front steps of Humphrey here, our RV, and I made a video basically calling out the YouTubers that were accepting, and sit down for this one, $500 to $800 per video, per video to promote Nomad Internet. In addition to that sponsorship from Nomad Internet, they were also getting $35 per signup. And how do I know this information? Because, well, Nomad Internet reached out to us and sent us over the agreement. In fact, I had to give them all the information on our account so they could see our click-through rate, our impressions, our engagement, meaning how many comments you put on videos, all of that. And we turned them down because it just wasn't worth it for us because, well, we have morals. Then we made a video because everybody was going, oh no, Nomad Internet lied because, well, the company went under and uh, they weren't getting paid. So now they came out in droves making this video that said, you know, this company lied to us and, and whatever. And what was funny to me was that a good majority of these videos were just basically how they were screwed by Nomad Internet. And it had nothing to do with the lies that they promoted to you. It was just basically, well, they were hurt, so because they weren't getting paid contracts anymore, so they were gonna denounce the company. 
pretty convenient, but what about all the people they convinced to sign up? Well, they never addressed that. It was just stay away from this company because they lied to us. Well, that's fine until you were locked into a contract with Nomad Internet or you spent all this money paying up front for their service. You see the problem there? Well, with that video became, well, we got a little bit of notoriety. And our channel grew and our channel was growing organically which again is important to carrie and i we don't do collaborations with big channels we don't do really anything with any youtuber because well we just kind of want to do our thing and we want this to grow because well you watch us and you want to be part of our journey if you don't want to be part of our journey we don't want you here why would you waste your time with us we're nobodies right but what we noticed going into this was this was big business for a lot of channels Big business in the point that they'll promote everything to you, including that mattress that you don't need because that mattress is no different than any other mattress that you could walk into Sleepy's and buy for half the price. They'll pr promote easily little pads that go under your stabilizers so that your stabilizers don't get dirty. The pads do. Uh, they'll promote anything that comes across their desk because, well, they're getting paid. And they travel in little groups and then they try to build each other up, right? But here's the thing, remember that quote from the beginning of this video? This is gonna be important. As our channel started growing, we started getting emails, more emails and more emails of people that were going full time and they liked our approach, which was just an average Joe thing. And uh, what we were doing, we're down to earth apparently and that's what they liked. And then people started giving us their personal stories, their personal stories of their marriages and how they evolved by going full time their personal stories of overcoming debt, their personal stories about their only option was an RV, right? One email in particular hurt us really bad. It got us really bad. And that was from a couple who, one of them, and I don't, it's, it's so tough to not give names on this one, but I'm, out of their privacy, I'm not gonna give their names. There's a married couple for 30 years who raised four fantastic children and the husband was diagnosed with terminal cancer. At the end of his journey, he found something that reversed, I guess, some of it, but he had bought basically extra time with his family. Him and his wife decided they were gonna spend their final years traveling. They sold everything they owned just like we did and they hit the road full time. On day two, they were scrolling through YouTube and they noticed from some big channels, these titles of everybody's quitting RV life and panic set in with them. These videos apparently surface and they've been going on since 2018. Every three or four months is another video that comes along that says everybody's quitting RV life and it's just clickbait. And they just do it and they give, you know, five reasons why people quit RV life. You know, they can't afford it. They can't, they can't hack it. They can't uh, deal with flat tires. You get it. It's just garbage recycled for clicks because well, those titles do really well. After reading this email, I was so disgusted by what I was seeing on YouTube that I dragged Carrie outside and I said I need you to stand next to me so I don't swear and I want to get through this video denouncing all these big channels that promote fear and anxiety amongst people and wanted to give a message of well this isn't about everybody quitting this is about revenue for these channels and people getting money per click. That's what this was. There's nobody quitting RV life. You can go to any RV park and see that. Everything's at capacity. It, it's insane. And there's a million plus people on the road every year doing this. You have people that drop off and you have people that come in. The newest round was Fate Unbound had taken a year off. They're a YouTube channel. I highly recommend you check them out. They had taken a year off and they're back. So this happens, this is trends, this is just the way life is. But they wanted to make it, you know, the lightning bolt in the back, the doom and gloom videos, the shocked face and whatever. So we put out the same kind of thumbnail with the same title and our message was basically what YouTubers don't want you to know is that it's all BS. And our channel exploded. Exploded for us because we went from 3,000 subscribers to 8,000 subscribers and we were fine with that. It is what it is. People wanted to see us, they saw us and they liked our message and they joined. Now, this is where the interesting part comes in. These same channels that were, you know, focused, remember back in April with the Nomad Internet thing, they were all focused on each other and they're all buddies and they all talk about how they promote each YouTube channel. You know, they all, it's a community, right? Well, what we found out during that is that there was a couple of channels that, uh, well, they saw a little video and they started messaging each other on WhatsApp and, and other little social media messengers. 
and then they were presented to us with screenshots going hey look what they're saying here look what they're saying there now how did we get the screenshots because in their own little groups that they talk about how they uplift each other and it's this big community there was even people in those groups who were fed up with the crap that they were promoting and this happened again with everybody's quitting rv life um, these big channels saw this and we hit almost a quarter million views and uh, well the mode that they're taking they're reversing course and they're going we're being bullied uh, everybody's had a bully right you know this little channel you know this 50 year old man and his 50 year one year old wife who live in a tiny little rv right and travel we don't associate with anybody we just do our thing we're now bullying these big channels um, no it's called telling the truth something that you must have lost this isn't about clicks for us because well we don't do that if we wanted to promote our channel and do clicks we would join your meetups we would join your groups we'd have all these promotional giveaways nothing that we've done hell we don't even take a sponsor at this point so how can you say that we're doing it for clicks and we're doing it for all these evil intent purposes when we don't look at this as a job you do you may have a full-time job outside of your stuff but of those hundred thousand subscribers that you have how much are you making in revenue hell i'll share mine on that two hundred and fifty thousand views video for everybody's quitting rv life i made seven hundred and fifty dollars now i only did that once imagine all these videos that you make you must be making at least a couple of grand per month and that's without sponsorships so let's look at intentions and see what this is your intention is to make sure that your brand stays relevant and that your brand is your primary source of income because well eventually you want to do what we do and you just can't pull the trigger on it now what i want to do is i want to address this couple in new jersey that finally decided to leave their kitchen and go for a walk you remind me of a story, a simple incident that happened when we first moved from Connecticut to New Hampshire. Being the only Italian family in this new town, my son, it was fifth grade at the time, we decided to go to school and he was picked on relentlessly for the way he dressed and because he had more than the local townsfolks did. He had designer clothes and God forbid if you had that at the time. So he finally came to me because after a week of being beat up and bullied to no extent, he just couldn't take it anymore. Came to me crying. He says, Dad, what do I do? Now, as somebody who's old school, I said, well, son, you do have a karate background and you need to defend yourself. And until you defend yourself, this is going to happen. This is going to continue. Well, the next day, this same kid who had been picking on him for all this time, grabbed him in a chokehold like this. Fifth grade. My son turned around and he clocked him, punched him right in the face and knocked him down. That kid immediately ran to the principal and cried that he was being bullied. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Sounds like I'm the guy that's punching you straight in the face and you don't know how to handle it. So what do you do as a public servant, as somebody who's been sworn to protect and serve in your local community? You decide to come out swinging, but not really, because you don't bash people to bash you. You just question their mental health. That is the lowest of low. You are a scumbag for that. When you make mockery of somebody's mental health issues, what does that make you? Not just a bully, not just a YouTuber out to make a celebrity appearance somewhere. It just makes you just poor. You're just, you talk about people being unfulfilled inside. What the hell does it say about you when you take your vacations and you go to RV shows so you can be surrounded by a bunch of people to make you feel better about yourself? At the end of the day, you mean nothing to me, I don't know you, and I sure as hell am not going to go up to you and hash things out in a meetup in a Tampa RV show. Because, well, frankly, I have better things to do with my life. I'll continue to make content. I'll continue to make videos that people want to see or don't want to see. That's their choice. I've always said from the beginning, the beautiful thing about YouTube is, well, it's you. You're free to subscribe or unsubscribe and watch whoever you want. But when I see you out there making videos that you're lying and taking advantage of people, manipulating things, or your newest round with your fellow content creator community of mental health advocacy, um, yeah, because they're sponsored by mental health professionals now too that's a service go figure um, I'm gonna call you out and the funny part is as my channel grows from that I have a bigger audience and I have a bigger reach but you continue doing you brother you take your trips and your vacations out to RV shows and you play celebrity and you become famous by association that's all good
And you'll never hear from me until you do something stupid again, and then I will be that guy that punches the bully square in the face. So that quote from the beginning of the video, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world it didn't exist. Well, that's what you're seeing unfold in front of you. Now, we're not gonna bash you for sitting in your driveway in New Jersey, and we're glad that you got out and went for a walk. But we are gonna call you out every time that you mislead your audience, and I don't care how big your channel is, how small your channel is, and it doesn't matter what your political affiliation, what your occupation is, that's just who I am. If I saw you in the street and you were stealing a purse from an old lady, I guarantee you, you wouldn't get far from me there either. I don't care about being famous on YouTube because YouTube fame is, well, it's laughable at best. It is a median to make money and that's what you're doing and that's fine. As long as you don't lie about it, you'll never have to hear from me again. You'll never even know that I exist because, well, we're never going to travel in the same circles. And I can tell you, in fact, as sure as hell, if I see you in the Tampa RV show, we're not going to sit down and hash things out because I don't like liars. And I like people who manipulate people just for financial gain. Those are scumbags, and that's just my take on things. Well, again, not our normal video, but I did feel that the rant was warranted and needed to get it off my chest. Whether you agree or disagree, that's up to you. Whether you want to join our journey or not, that's up to you. But if you do want to join, we can definitely say it's an honest journey, and it comes from the heart. That's it. Until next time, I am Bob. We'll let Carrie come back in in the next video. Thank you.